Hey, I'm Jose. I'm the engineering manager for the mobile team at Evernote. And I want to show you how I use Evernote to organize my day, my week, and my team. I'll show you how I set up a home screen with certain widgets to glance my day, and how I use notebooks set up in a space to tactically work through the day, and how it all kind of works together in my own custom workflow. So let's jump into it. Here I've got Evernote open. In this case, in this example, it's in the browser, but there's desktop clients as well. And the first thing we're looking at is home. I'll talk about my home workflow and then show you how to build these widgets. And then I'll jump over and show my tactical day-to-day -day in the space. So starting on the top left widget is the tasks widget. This is a powerful thing for me to see what I've assigned to myself, what have I assigned to other people, and what other team members have assigned to me. And the power here is it can be a single one-time tasks, but it can also be recurring. So you can set up monthly things for expenses, uh, quarterly things every three months, or some other custom interval. The next three widgets that I'll talk about are the three colored sticky notes. These are called scratch pad widgets. And what they are is temporary notes that you can write. You can write um, in them directly from home screen. And they're temporary. They don't live as actual notes in a notebook. But if you write a big uh, scratch pad note and need to convert it, you can convert it into a note and make it permanent. The way I'm using this in my home screen is to organize primary things I need to do today or this week, secondary things I need to do like within the month, and tertiary things within the quarter, roughly, is the themes there. And then hopping down to the second row, the first widget I have there is the calendar widget. And this one is just linked to my Google Calendar and helps me see what's coming up and get in the right uh, mindset for the next meeting. Can also give you a boost by one click, create a new note that's tied to the event, has a summary of who was there, and you can start capturing events in there. The next widget I have is the pin note widget. And this came about from, I was always jumping to the same set of links over and over throughout weeks, uh, architecture documents or certain guidelines or other things like that. And so I had a note that had all these URLs in there that I was constantly going to. Pin note is perfect for that. It lets me hop out into those notes easily from the home screen. And so that's kind of my home screen setup. Let's talk about how to set these widgets up. If I go to customize, it pops into this editing mode. And the right hand side shows you the available widgets that you have. Um, I'll go ahead and delete some of them and recreate them to show you how it works. So my tasks, some of them are one-time widgets, like tasks, and some of them can be used multiple times, like Scratchpad. So for tasks, I have to delete it to show you uh, so that it'll reappear as an available option. Now I'm dragging tasks over and putting it in the same location, and it links up and has your tasks listed there. For the Scratchpads, uh, you can drag as many as you want and just add them in there, give them a different color, a different name, and start capturing notes there. Most of the widgets can be resized, but I wanted a two by three uh, kind of tiled view, so they're all at the same small size. Calendar widget is also a one-time one. I won't delete it, though, because it'll have to reconnect uh, and integrate the calendar. And then a pin note is a very, very powerful one. And so I'll recreate it just so you can see. You drag it in there. Uh, it's very simple. It just has you pick the note that you want to pin, and then it shows up there. Once you're kind of ready, uh, you can hit done. But don't forget to put a cool background uh, and change the background while you're at it. In this case, I put a Salvador Dali painting. So that's home screen and how I use it. Um, now I'm going to kind of switch over into the space and talk about how I work tactically during the day. So this is a space. It's a Teams feature. It's a way for you to have a central place of notebooks and stacks with your teammates. You can also use it privately. Uh, in this case, this one's private for me to organize my thoughts and my team. The crux of this is the daily planner. I literally cr create a new note every day and title it the date and run kind of a daily log, uh, different heading for different meetings and the notes uh, from those meetings. So in this example, we have kind of different meetings that happen today uh, and goals that I'm trying to do. So that's my daily planner. Every day we, we run through that. Other things involved here in my headspace space is the whiteboard scans. This is uh, me literally taking photos of my bullet journal, handwritten notes, or my whiteboard next to me, and storing them in here. And Evernote's indexing them, uh, has good OCR technology. You can actually search, and it'll find your handwritten 
words, even if you have bad handwriting like me. So that's very useful for architecture diagrams. Career is where I'm organizing courses and things that I want myself to grow in my career, my team members to grow in their career. And then we kind of get into other things, uh, running a team as an engineering manager. We've got our team reviews, which is the confidential kind of performance that I'm tracking with each engineer and making sure they're hitting their goals or helping guide. I have a weekly planner, but I didn't end up using it that much. The daily planner kind of does it all. And then the rest is uh, kind of specific to, to my function app, builds and apps, build an infrastructure for building and deploying the apps, uh, performance of the app and high level team charter links to our wiki um, for the team and a, a note with just code snippets I find throughout the day. So kind of putting in full circle, I'm working tactically in this space. Uh, let's take an example and say, in this case, um, there's an item that came out of my daily tasks that needs to be tracked and looked at every day. In this case, uh, making this video that I'm recording right now and sending it to Brittany. So tasks like that, I'll copy them and bring them over to the primary, secondary, or tertiary areas. And so that's kind of how I'm reconciling the daily log and bringing it in over here. Um, other things that happen throughout the day is a lot of cruising uh, the web and finding things. So let's take an example. I found a nice course on production grade TypeScript that I want the team to take. I will use the Evernote Web Clipper, which is an extension for browsers, to capture this website and store it in one of my notebooks. So also very powerful. Um, in this case, I'm clipping this site. I'm going to stuff it into the careers notebook, give it a tag of courses, and save it. And so this is really, really powerful. Um, it's also available on mobile. If you're on your mobile device and finding things along the way, use the share extension and clip these things in and save them to Evernote. Um, and so that's kind of, in a nutshell, how I use Evernote to manage my day, how I use the home screen to glance it, um, and how I use a space to organize and work tacti tactically throughout the day. Hope you draw some inspiration from it, and we can't wait to see the ways that you use Evernote for your workflows. Thanks.